All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to teach you RGT's 9.30 a.m. Judas Swing. Now, I know a lot of you people may think that this model doesn't work. And yes, in reality, this the original version of this model has a, has a you know, not a very good win rate. But in this video, I'm gonna teach you a secret technique, a secret tip that you can use with this strategy and you can make its win rate skyrocket, all right? Now, before we start, if you can hit the subscribe button, I would highly appreciate it because I'm really close to 100K, so please do that because I'm putting on, putting out free information for you guys, all right? This is this is what people would charge like $1,000 for, all right? And I'm giving it away for absolutely free. So, before 9.30 open, right, what you have to do is on the 15 minute time frame, you have to mark out the most recent low and the most recent high, all right? So, this would be the most recent low and this would be the most recent high. Now, the original strategy tells you that you look for a purge, then you look for a market shift on the one minute, and then you take your entry. Well, that has a low win rate, but I'm gonna teach you a technique that you can use to skyrocket the win rate. So, the secret is 945, and hear me out, all right? So, when you have marked out the swing low and the swing high, and then you have marked out the 930 open, right? This is the 930 open. From 930 till 945, from 930 till 945, price must take out either the swing high or the swing low. So in between this time period, this is very important. So you have the 930 open marked out, you have the 15 minute high and low, you simply drop down to one minute time frame, all right? And you have to look for liquidity sweep before 9.45, all right? So the 15-minute candle that opens at 9.30 and closes at 9.45, that candle should take out the high or the low. So let's assume that the high is taken out, right? Very simple. You have the high taken out. Now you're looking for a market sugar shift on the one minute time frame. You're simply taking your entry and you're going for one to two or you're targeting the opposite side, liquidity. Now let's assume that price consolidates, right? And then after 9.45, it takes out the high. Then that is not valid because price is going to stop you out. All right, now what is the theory behind it, all right? So I want the liquidity to be swept within 15 minutes of 9.30 open. Now that shows there are market makers and algorithms operating that push the price with displacement to sweep the liquidity. It could be either the buy side or the sell side. And we mark up the buy and sell side with the most recent low and the most recent high on the 15 minute time frame. Now, there's another way to increase the win rate and don't worry, I'm gonna give you guys examples as well. So, what you have to do is on the four hour time frame, you have to, you know, Mark out the dealing range, right? So we have a lower low, lower high, lower low, and the overall trend is bearish, right? The overall order flow is bearish. Now we wanna mark out the dealing range high and dealing range low. Now you have to look for this setup. If you are bearish, you have to look for, so let me zoom in a bit. This is the most recent high on the 15 minute and the most recent low. This is the 9.30 open. So let me just mark this out, 9.30 open, right? And this right here is the 9.40 time, right? So let me just, 9.45 a.m. So what is happening over here? Okay, so we don't sweep the low in this case. Why? Because we are in a bearish trend. So we primarily wanna see the high taken out first, all right? So here's the thing, we are in a discount zone and that's where we should be looking to sell, right? Now, if price sweeps above this level before 9.45, if price sweeps the most recent high on the 15 minute time frame, then we drop down to one minute or two minute and then we target this. You keep repeating this, so essentially this is power of three on a fractal time, right? And primarily when you are bearish and price is in a discount zone, you wanna look for this setup. Now this is not necessary, or right? This is what I, I'm teaching you so that you can increase your win rate. But this is not necessary. All you need is this 
fractal model. This is literally all you need, guys. So similarly, you would do the same, mark the recent uh, low and the recent high before 9.30, 9.30 opens. You look for a purge before 9.45, and then you drop down to one minute or two minute time frame, and then you take your entry. Now, there's, this is not gonna present a setup every single day, but whenever there is this setup, I promise you it's gonna just play out so nicely that you're gonna thank me, all right? Now, key things to know, this works only for indices, but if you wanna use this on Forex, you would use the 8.30 open and 8.45, all right, but for indices, we're gonna use 930. And I highly suggest you use this with indices because my testing proves that this works really, really well with indices, right? And you can literally pass your challenges with ease, guys. So now that we know the strategy, let me give you guys some examples. All right, guys, so here is example one. Looking at NAS 100 on the 15 minute time frame, and I'm looking at 915, right? So now I wanna mark out my most recent low. So this right here is the most recent low. And this right here is the most recent high. So now I'm waiting for price to take out the high. And over here, you can see at 9.30, right? So if I go to the one minute time frame now, you can see that the high was taken out before 9.45. The high was taken out at 9.34. So that's what we want to primarily see. Now I'm waiting for a displacement with a market structure shift. And just around here, we have this, and we have this break of structure, right? So now I'm waiting for a FVG formation. And just around here, what do we have? We have a fair value gap. Now this is our draw on liquidity, right? So now this is gonna be my entry. Stop goes right above the high. And I'm gonna go for one to two, or you can hold till here. So let's see how this plays out. So we get a tap, and look at how beautiful the delivery was. So now, uh, let's move on to the next example. All right, guys, so here is example number two. So I have marked out the most recent low and the most recent high at 9.15 on the 15 minute time frame. So now I'm waiting for price to either take out the low or the high before 9.45. This is very important. So let's see how this plays out. So right here at 9.41, this is key, right? We took out the low. So now we are waiting for a market structure shift So we're waiting for a break above this high. And now you could have actually taken the entry on the long, all right? Although there's a fair value gap, right? Because the range is very big, so it doesn't really matter if you take your entry from this fair value gap, you're getting one to two. But you can see that we have, with the benefit of hindsight, we have this breaker block, right? So this is going to be our entry. And stop goes right here. Right, you could target this level right here. Now I'm gonna explain you one thing later on. So yes, this is our entry here. And take TP was hit. But you might be asking, Faz, why didn't price come into this fair value gap? Oh, actually, it actually did right here. How about so you can have taken your entry from the fair value gap, right? here boom and look at the precision guys like this is beautiful all right price tapped into the fvg right here 3.82 so let me give you guys one more example all right guys so here is another example and you can see that at 9 15 i've marked out this low so this is just a recent low that was formed after the 9 15 candle uh, sorry, 9.30 candle. So this is the 9.30 candle. Now the 9.30 is going to open. So we're going to have to look for a sweep. And this is the most recent high. So if I go to the one minute time frame now, right, we are at 9.30 and exactly at 9.30, we swept the liquidity. So that is perfect. So now we're waiting for a market structure shift, right? And just around here, we got it. Now over here, we have a fair value gap with auto block. So this auto block is going to be our entry, right? The original auto block, right, is actually these consecutive bearish candles because we these swept the liquidity. But since we have a fair value gap here, I'm gonna use this as our entry. And this is gonna get, get give us a refined entry, right? We're gonna put our stop right below this low. 
and we can target this level over here. Although I would always go, always go for one to two, but then sometimes you can target this level. So let's see how this plays out. So we get a tap and the price plays out for a lot of time, right? It consolidates around here, but then later on, you're gonna see that price hits the take profit level. So that's how the algorithm operates, all right? And this is basically how you can improve the win rate of the strategy. Uh, you, you gotta be patient, right? I'm not gonna lie, you have to look for these setups. They're not gonna be there every single day, but in each week, you're gonna get three, four setups, and then you can take these trades. Let me give you guys a couple of more examples. All right, guys, so here is another example, and you can see that at 9, 29 I have marked out the recent high and the recent low so now here are some key things that you must know now since may some a lot of people may have left the video already they missed this information this is very crucial listen if before 915 sorry 929 if the low is swept but the high is not then the setup becomes invalid we must have both of these unswept all right because the algorithm must have sell side and buy side at 929. Then it's gonna sweep and then it's gonna sweep that level. All right. So essentially at 930, price primarily want to double sweep. All right. So it's gonna take a buy side, sell side, and move towards its original direction. So this is very important. So now at 929, you can see that I've marked out the recent low and the recent high. So if I drop down to one minute chart. Let's see if price takes out the high and price takes out the high at 936. So that is perfect. We swept before 945 and we're going to wait for a shift in the market structure. And you can see that we got a shift in the market structure and you're going to see how well this plays out. So the take profit level was hit. This is our auto block. Essentially, this could have been our entry level because this is the low price swept the liquidity, right? We also had a tiny probability gap that was already filled, but this would have been the best entry here because you can see that we would have gotten around 4 RR. So you can see the power of this strategy, guys. Like this is literally your, it could be your bread and butter, all right? You do not need daily bias. You do not need um, so many like complicated stuff. You do not even need ERL or IRL method for this. You just got to use this model. And if you are extra patient just use the premium and discount zones on four hour time frame and this is going to set you up for success let me give you guys one more example and then i'm going to end the video okay guys so here is the last example at 9:29. i'm marking out the recent low and we also have the recent high over here now if i zoom out a bit you can see that we have this significant liquidity pool over here so we should keep our eye on this as well so if i play the next candle you can see that we swept this liquidity, the recent low, and also this significant liquidity, right? So now if we go to the one minute time frame, right, what we're looking for is a market structure shift and it will be from this level. So let's play this through and you can see that we got a market structure shift, but there is no fair value gap in this leg. So what we can do in this case is go to the two minute time frame and see if we have a fair value gap. And over here, you can see we have this fairly gap. So this is a different example, so you must learn from it. Stop goes right below the low, and we target this high over here. So let's see how this plays out. We get a tap, and the take profit level was set. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate you watching this video, and please hit the subscribe button. Look at the information, look at the value that I'm providing, guys. Like at least if you are new, just hit the subscribe. You're not going to regret it. And I'm going to release something like insanely good very, very soon. If you are following me on Twitter, you must know what I'm talking about. All right. So see you guys next weekend.